that's three winners now on the day for Candice Bess Robinson and Aldo de Mea as Hammy's hero comes home strongly in the sixth race here on the card. And firstly going to give the groom his Sorry. prize. Is the groom, groom not here again? Uh, hey, something Sorry, like something. the groom is here. Oh, is here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Come, come forward come for come your come check. Come. There we go. Very, very well done. And just get your picture taken here by the number 15. Well done to our winning grooms. It Kamku. Is that your name? Kororo. All right, thanks. Super, well done. <laughs> very, very well done. And thanks to Hollywood Bets and Cape Racing for the winning check. Aldo, are you going to come through and chat to me? Well done, Aldo. Third time today. Uh, you're having a cracking day. And uh, I think uh, the boss, Mike, told me about this one, didn't he, last week? So he never gets it wrong. Yeah, listen, he really, really admires this horse. And um, he thinks the world of him. <laughs> I tend to agree to some extent. I think given the time, he's going to become a serious horse. Oh, he's still soft and still a puppy, so uh, those puzzle pieces still need to come together. And uh, I think we've been playing around with him to see where, where we're going to go. And Durbanville was never going to suit him. But back here over six furlong, I thought he was going to be a massive runner here. Yeah. So it was a really tough race to give away. Wait all around to all the horses and hard knockers. So he had his work cut out. He essentially just wanted to see where he is, you know, so I can get an idea of, of, of him. Because I know in a month or two's time, we'll be a bit better and furnish a bit stronger. So I must give big credit to Candice because this was had some hiccups this week. And, uh, uh, I wasn't quite pleased with him, but uh, that's, that's why we got the confidence we do, you know, because she managed to patch him up quite nicely. And uh, when I, by the time I came to him to the start, came an exceptional feel. And uh, I told Gareth going to the start that this is the kind of feel you want to feel on a horse. And he really just floats. And uh, as you could see, he was doing pace work throughout the race. And he rounded it off quite nicely. Still needed it at the end, but that's probably because of the cups that we had. So a lot of positives to build on. So to Bryn and Marsh, everyone involved with us, I think you've got a very nice horse in your hands. I do think we must just take it step by step and so we can build him as a horse. And if we do, I think we have a serious contender on our hands next year. Yeah, I agree. I, I love the way he was traveling and he was just pegging them off uh, very easily. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these youngsters these days enjoy this pegging thing. So he was pegging them off as he was going along. So as we went, he, he put his head in front and just shirked it a little bit. So the other horse came again and he, he fought him off. So. Uh, big credit to the whole team and thanks so much to everyone involved. Well, just before you disappear, this was the Clover Flay handicap. Have we got a winning bottle for, for Aldo? Um, there we go from the Clover Flay side. Very well done to you. Well done. Thanks so much. Candice is going to come through now for the third time today. You're having a, another cracking day, which is fabulous. And uh, I just did text your father. I said, you're an absolute legend because he every time I come there, he gives us winners and he's never wrong. But uh, he obviously likes this horse. And why not? Because he's won really, really nicely today. This is his favorite horse for you. I think it's his favorite horse in the yard. And, um, you know, he's, he takes a lot of interest in him. He does most of the work with him in the morning. So uh, well done to him. And I'm sure he'll be really happy that this horse won. He, we had some hiccups with him in the week. Uh, he, he's... Um, he wasn't working so well and he had a very dirty track wash but uh, somehow or other we managed to get him right by this weekend um, I was in two binds as to whether we were going to run or not but uh, I think uh, he managed we managed to turn the corner with him just before today so he's got a lot of ability um, he's a big baby still you can see he's a big soft horse still he's got a lot of uh, firming up to do and maturing to do and I think in time he's going to be a really, a really smart horse yeah lots to look forward to lovely I just love the way he, he did it with so much ease today especially if you said he had a few hiccups there's obviously a lot more to come yeah no, I'm, I'm sure there will be and as I say, trip-wise, we'll have to decide, you know, where he's going. I'm sure that he'll get a bit more ground as well. So he's an exciting horse to have. So Marsh and Bryn, I'm sure they'll be very excited to have a horse like this today. We couldn't give them all the confidence they wanted today due to, due to you know, what he was like in the week. But, uh, you know, as I say, he's got a lot of ability and I think he's going places. So well done to them. Um, to Clava Flair too, thank you for sponsoring the race. And, uh, yeah, it's been a great day so far. Yeah, very well done to you. Please take a nice bottle of bubbly from Clava Flair. There, thank you can you. celebrate a bit much. later on. Are uh, you going to come and chat to me, Mark? Uh, thank you're the only one that's on course but uh, of course uh, it goes back to the Hammies name beautifully yeah. named yeah, yeah. <laughs> another Hammies is uh, looking to be quite uh, useful yeah I think potentially a very smart uh, horse like he'll be fine in, in time uh, as Candace has said you know, he's still soft and uh, they had a very troubled prep but I, I met up with Mike Bass during the week and you know he said it was touch and go but he still fancied the horse just on ability he thought the horse would pull through and uh, yeah very smooth win and I think uh, Bryn uh, well done to him obviously and to Marsh who's traveling through uh, Oz uh, are gonna have a lot of fun with uh, with Hammy's hero in time as he develops and uh, matures maybe stretches out to a slightly longer route
But the blood is there. You know, fly by night was a really a top uh, race match. I was just chatting now to John, and he was saying she's been difficult to to work with, and even Hammy's hero had quite a. Uh, a, a tough start to his life with a, 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 a stifle cyst. So that needed to be operated on. So it, it hasn't been plain sailing, but yeah, uh, looking at forward to good times ahead. You're certainly getting there onwards and upwards. So please accept your bottle from Clava Flay Stud. Thank you. Um, now, I don't know what we do here, John, because no, Clava Flay Stud bred him as well. So anyway, come <laughs> come through and have a chat with me. <laughs> and uh, it looks, looks like a bottle of bubbly for yourself, but uh, very, very well done. He looks to be a horse that's going places as Candice said he had a few niggles in the, in the week but he's still gone and won with a bit of authority and he looked to be traveling so well throughout the race yeah he's a beautiful horse um, fee and you know it's a privilege to have a mare like fly by night group one winner on the farm for Marsh and Bryn and twice over you know he's doing so well um, and this horse is beautiful and I think you know his best is yet to come so well done to Bryn Marsh Candice is on an absolute roll, and uh, it's just great to be part of, uh, of, the, of the day today. Yeah, it's been a great weekend, um, hasn't it, really, with the sale yesterday and the gallops and bringing it all together, bringing the people together. It's, it's been a fun weekend. No, it's been awesome, and it's just nice to be part of it, you know. So for us to sponsor a race like this is great. You know, Greg and Hollywood can't do it on their own. Uh, we've all got to roll up our sleeves and, and uh, muck in and, and get the job done. So huge privilege. There, we can take a, a bottle of champagne for yourself. So very, very well done. <laughs> well done to Team Clava Flay. Thank Thanks. you very much for being a great sponsor and for winning the race with uh, Hammy's Hero as well. Well done to Mark Sherliff. Well done to Bryn Russell. We had Mark on course to chat to us. Well done to Candice Bass Robinson and Elder de Mare. That's three on the day for them and uh, Clava Flay Stud, the Breeders, and it's their race as well, which was uh, extra exciting.